If you've been programming for a while, you know there's way too many books, courses, and resources out there. And that's just because programming is genuinely a really hard skill. You're spending hours debugging, you're learning new technologies all the time, and you're putting all these technologies together. You're engineering software, and that's a pretty hard thing to do. But what most people don't realize is that the best programmers aren't the people trying to learn things on their own. They're constantly trying to learn things from people who know a little bit more than them. So I wanted to make this video after programming for six years and working at a few tech companies. Now I can't talk about what makes programming easy. It's a hard skill in general, but I can talk about what makes programming easier. If you're struggling with programming, I promise this video is going to help and teach you something new. So the first thing you'll want to do is to follow tutorials. And that's really because tutorials have a guided curriculum on what you should be doing step by step to build something. They give you an outline and people spend a lot of time on these tutorials so it's worth the time of day to really just invest in learning how to program from them. Now I also fell into this trap where you would also be in endless tutorials where you just watch one, follow it, and just do another one. And it's good to start but eventually you'll need to grow out of that and people call this tutorial hell and the only way I got out of that was just by adding a little bit more to the tutorials that I was following. So if they actually only talked about databases, do you know how to change that database? If they actually talked about front end, do you actually know how to change a little bit of those web pages? I learned that this helped me figure out if I really understand the material that was in those tutorials rather than just copy and pasting what I was watching in a video. What might also surprise most people is that a lot of these tech companies also follow tutorials. You have a lot of engineers writing tutorials, writing documents that other people are following along to. It's not just a beginner thing. People are doing this in their professional careers. But you know you're ready to take the training wheels off when you understand all the code that's in the tutorials. So you don't have to worry about it anymore once you can kind of explain it to someone else. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is debugging. It's one of the most important skills every programmer needs to do and it makes sense to actually just learn a lot more about how to be a more efficient debugger. If you're spending 90% of your time debugging, it probably makes a lot of sense to think about debugging effectively. So learn how to use your tools, learn about the inspect tool, learn about debuggers, learn how to set breakpoints, learn more than just print statements. There's a lot of tools that people build simply for the sake of learning how to debug better. And beyond the tools, there's a lot of like open resources. There's ChatGPT, Stack Overflow, Google Books, documentation. There's so much out there that if you use all these resources, you would just become such a better debugger. I can tell you from my experience at work is that some of the best engineers are using these tools and they use these tools every day to figure out how to make their programming flows better. I'll tell you that you know enough when you look at your code and you run into a bug and you start asking yourself what tools you need to solve this. That's when you realize you're starting to think a lot more about your tools instead of like guessing where the code problems are. And one of the best resources that's going to help you with debugging is going through documentation. Now documentation isn't the funnest thing to read. There's just a bunch of text and it's hard to figure everything out. So I'll tell you that 10 minutes on the readme will save you 10 hours of trial and error. But you'll also have to realize is that documentation is written by really great programmers, people who are intentionally thinking about what to write here to share it with other people. So it's definitely worth reading through. And when you go through it, you'll learn a lot of things most people didn't realize. And eventually you'll get so good at it that you'll start writing your own documentation and everyone will appreciate you for it. But more important than writing documentation is writing code. You don't learn how to drive by reading a book. You don't learn how to swim by watching a video. The only way you're going to get better at coding is by actually writing code. So what this really means is that you actually have to build something. You have to go through this process of writing some code, dealing with some bugs, writing a unit test, going through a Google search, and trying to figure it out. That's the whole process of software engineering. I know coming up with an idea is one of the hardest things to do when you're writing code. So my advice is to really start simple. Start with a front end, add HTML and CSS, then add APIs with a back end and then you can add a database. You just take it one step at a time to kind of limit your learning so you're not overwhelming yourself with too much at once. And if you feel like it's too boring to do a tic-tac-toe app or a to-do app, I wanna tell you that Notion is a to-do app. It started off as just a note-taking app and then they added a backend and then they added a database. All of a sudden you have one of the biggest note-taking companies in the world. It's a pretty cool thing to think about, but it doesn't start by doing everything all at once. You just have to take it one step at a time. Now coding is a really lonely path to go on. And what most people don't realize is that it doesn't have to be something you do on your own. What separates most programmers is whether they're working with other people or not. I can tell you that I started becoming a much better programmer at work when other people started looking at my code. 
they start telling me a lot of what I was doing wrong and how to make things better. Now, you don't have to work in the industry to learn how to connect with other people. There's open source projects, there's communities, there's Stack Overflow communities, there's a lot of other forums that you can join. A lot of ways to get involved with other people who are just as passionate as you are about getting better at coding. As much as we like to think that it's a bunch of solo hackers trying to code something on their own, it's actually just a bunch of people trying to work together and trying to build something really, really awesome. Programming is really hard on its own. So make it a little bit easier by programming with someone else. If you guys like this video, definitely subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.